Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So I put up a video last night about Simon Cowell and his love for dogs. He's a dog lover, he opposes Yulin Dog Meat Festival because of this. And he was in an interview recently where he said he still eats fish and I was like, well that's not vegan obviously. And upon uploading the video, someone else made me aware that Simon is actually not just uh, eating fish, he's also gone back to eating all other animals. So let's just look at this um, article here by the Daily Mail, the Mail Online. Me and the Daily Mail have got some history there, but let's just read through anyway. Simon Cow has ditched his strict vegan diet and is treating himself to meat and chocolate again as he recovers from a broken back. Very interesting. Um, strict vegan diet. So here would well obviously Simon wasn't a vegan. He was just eating a plant-based diet. Strict. Oh, God, like, it's insane people haven't found out about vegan burgers and vegan chocolate and vegan ice cream and stuff yet and just saying, oh, my God, a vegan diet is strict. I think maybe because he was on some type of health kick, that's why it was strict. But obviously, veganism in and of itself is not strict. Uh, veganism's a philosophy against the exploitation of animals, so you can eat vegan junk food. Hello. So let's just get into the article and see what it says here. Despite Simon Cowell being banned from all dangerous hobbies by girlfriend Lauren, after breaking his back in a freak accident on an electric bike, he's been allowed to eat meat and dairy again. He's been allowed? What are you... He's been allowed to eat meat and dairy again? What are you talking about? Like, oh, maybe, maybe it's because he had a health scare and he was eating predominantly plant-based for his health. So this is what I mean, he's been allowed. Like... If you're an actual vegan, you, like, I'm allowed to eat meat and dairy whenever I want. I don't want to. I don't want to because it's abusive and cruel and there's other stuff to eat. Like, anyways, Simon at 60 went vegan after a health scare in 2017. He didn't go vegan. He just started eating more plants. Uh, consequentially, losing four stones in the process. But his latest dilemma has seen him revert to meat as well as chocolate. You mean revert to flesh of suffered animals and the, you know, chocolate, which is 100% made of dairy, dairy being one of the most abusive and cruel industries on earth. According to the Mirror, a source said Lauren has been up to the hospital to drop a few things off once each day. She has been making his favourite Italian bean soup. Oh, Italian bean soup can be made vegan, so that, that might be all right there, old, old Simon. And his also cottage pie with turkey, which he loves. So, okay, Simon. Um, you're vehemently against the dog meat trade. You already admitted to eating uh, fish who suffer and die uh, on your behalf, and now you're eating turkeys, UK turkeys. Now, do I have to remind everyone about Serge's expose here? And do I have to remind the Daily Mail that they actually uploaded it here to their YouTube channel here? Daily Mail here? Let's just go through it, shall we? 2018 UK turkey farm, so very recent. Look at this. Look at these animals here. Absolutely disgusting. Now, I, I don't understand how someone could be against the dog meat trade because of cruelty, though, all right, when you also support the exact same or even worse cruelty by eating your bloody chicken cottage pie. Now, I found out this article after I recorded and did the research for the, the previous video, so this is all new to me. Um, I didn't know he went back to eating all animals. I just thought he was this plant-based guy who also ate fish. Um which is still horrifically cruel. You know, this has just opened up another gateway of, like, just callousness. Look at this. Like, if Simon has the means to find out about the cruelty in the dog meat trade, then you'd have to be living under a rock not to know about the cruelty in UK's uh, meat industry. And, you know, to be an animal advocate like he is, advocating for dog, you have a responsibility to find out what's going on in these farms that you support. <sighs> but anyways, let's go back to this article here, because look, Simon has broken his back in a freak accident, which is horrible. I don't want to see Simon be hurt. I think his doc uh, upon doctor's orders, he's been told to treat himself. Uh, here's a quote here. His diet is incredibly healthy, but there's nothing better than traditional English comfort foods and treats when you're on, on the mend. So the problem I have with this is obviously I, I have compassion for Simon breaking his back. That's horrible. I've been, I've been run over by a car myself. But he's injured himself horrifically. And now to get on the mend, to treat himself, he's going to treat animals like absolute crap. You know what I mean? Like, 
You're in pain. You're suffering. So, hey, I might pay for some turkeys to suffer and die too. Absolute, absolute hypocrisy. And he's against the dog meat trade, which is, you know, you're opening yourself up there for a massive hypocrisy, Simon. In, in, in May, Simon revealed that he'd lost a total of 60 pounds since he went on a lifestyle overhaul and adopted a health-conscious diet. Okay, so you, you either went vegan or you adopted a health-conscious diet. Those things are mutually exclusive. They are not the same thing. You can be a junk food vegan and not and be against the exploitation and harm of animals. Okay, so Britain's ta got talent judge, spoke to Terry Seymour on Extra and said, I think I have dropped since I started this diet a year ago, 60 pounds. Yeah, you know you can lose 60 pounds eating flesh. You know what I mean? Like, you just got to restrict your calories a bit. You know, I'm just, it's just, veganism has got nothing to do with weight loss. It's about the animal holocaust and opposing that. It's nothing to do with weight loss, nothing to do with health. It's an ethical position. So this 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 message that's going out to the mainstream is just completely confusing. Okay, so Simon admitted he has found sticking to a healthy routine easier during lockdown, except for when his son Eric Six wants to order a pizza. This is probably when his ethics go out the window, when his son wants to, you know, start buying pizza and he doesn't educate his son and go, hey, you know, like, we're going to get a vegan pizza, which probably lives in London. I don't know, where there's like a million vegan pizza options, which I don't just understand. You can get on Uber Eats and order vegan stuff. It's just, eats so easy these days. He said, I'm doing a bit of cooking. I'm exercising. Funny enough, more during this time as well, sticking to the diet. Uh, okay. So you're sticking to a diet. The only difficult thing is when Eric orders a pizza. That's the number th one thing I miss. We'll order a vegan pizza. This is what I mean. If you're gonna, like, this is, if you're gonna do a healthy vegan plant-based diet, good on you, more power to you, whole foods plant-based for the win. But if you want a pizza, eat a vegan pizza with a lot of vegan cheese on that nice junky food pizza and don't go back to abusing animals. Like, <sighs> okay, so he uh, underwent six hours of surgery to insert a metal, metal rod into his spine. Sorry to hear that, Simon. Um, but you know what, mate? What about what these animals have to endure here? I mean, these animals won't make it out alive. You're getting a proper care. What are these animals getting? They're suffering for your bloody turkey cottage pie where you can get soya mints and uh, lentils and stuff like that. You know, like, so my compassion for Simon is dwindling a little bit if he doesn't know about this. I, I mean, maybe he's just completely unaware, but Daily Mail shouldn't be. Daily Mail shouldn't be. You know, here it is. Here it is. Surge activism. Expose A. Daily Mail uploaded it. And now you're promoting his turkey cottage pie without saying anything. It's just nonsense. You're eating meat and dairy again. Again, with the suffering. Do I have to remind you? Like, Surge are doing some great exposés here, along with other animal rights groups. But I'm just going to stick with the Surge routine here. Um, you know, look at this stuff. This is UK dairy. This is, this is the suffering you're causing. You've got a broken back, which I, you know, I empathize with. But look what happens to these uh, dairy cows. They, they get put in this rack here. It's called a cattle crush, being kicked in the face. And they're also having a fist uh, shoved into their anus here uh, because they put their fist inside the anus of the cow to hold the cervix to inject the pipette full of semen. Um, you know, I'm sure this isn't happening to you while you're recovering from your back injury, but it's definitely happening to the cows because their dairy is being used to make the chocolate that you're consuming to recover from your back injury, which is uh, just pure selfishness. Look at this, calf's been taken away. Look at this stuff. Cast been taken away from mothers, dragged out by their feet. Newborns. Simon's got kids. I wonder if he empathizes with mothers lo losing their calves. I don't know. I don't know. These celebrities, they... There are a lot of good celebrities, uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, Whacking Phoenix, uh, there's... Well, he's just... That stands out to me as one of the biggest uh, stars. Uh, they got uh, Rooney Mara, Kat Von D, Miley Cyrus. Like, these ones, are, they're speaking out against the, the unethical treatment of animals, which is great. Look at this. These are babies being dragged away from their mothers. How's this for a stat, Simon? Nine, 90,000 male dairy calves shot. And you know who originally... The funny thing is, if you go... If I type in Daily Mail dairy calves, right? The hypocrisy of the Daily Mail, like, this this should just... This should basically... Video should be about the Daily Mail more. <laughs> because, look at this. They know... <laughs> They know that calves are shot dead here. Viewers outrage over harrowing see scenes of day-old calves being lined up and shot dead. So Daily Mail, you're promoting his consumption of chocolate. Oh, uh, Simon's uh, consuming chocolate. Now, you've made an article here explaining how more than 90,000 male dairy calves are shot at birth every year. Right? 
You made this article. You made this. You didn't say anything about that here when you're saying, oh, he's being allowed to eat meat and dairy again. You ever think to go, oh, you know what? The dairy industry is actually. I'm sure, I understand. I gotta get rid of this watch, and it keeps jumping in when I'm halfway through a sentence. Siri, shush. Now, what I was saying is like, you didn't think to like mention the number of articles that you've written on the dairy industry being completely cruel, huh? Just oh no, he's just eating chocolate. He's eating dairy again. He's broken his back. Poor Simon. Poor Simon. Okay, yeah, uh, poor Simon. What about the dairy cows? that you have written multiple articles about. You've even uploaded videos of animal ethics onto your YouTube channel. So you was obviously, well, you're just in it for a story, obviously. Like, look at this, car's been shot in the head. Look at it, look at it. You've made articles about it, like, oh God. Anyways, that's all I got to say. I made a video, if you wanna see the other video, I'm talking about uh, Simon Cowell's work for the dog meat trade, but he's eating fish. Didn't see this, this article till now. Simon, I hope you get on the mend, and I hope you also start thinking about the animals that you're paying for to be in just as much pain or even more. Actually, way more pain than you are in now. You're paying for animals to suffer horrific lives. You think you're living in the UK, it's going to be some humane fairy tale standard, but we, we're exposing the, the UK all the time. I mean, you've got the access of the internet. You're in the know when it comes to animals, mate. Like, it's at the drop of a fingertip, you can just look this stuff up. You're paying for animals in the dairy industry to suffer, get their calves taken away and then be murdered. And, you know, you're eating turkeys and pies. I don't know what other animal products you're eating. Probably pigs as well who are gas chambered here in the UK. 86% of pigs are gas chambered here in the UK, um, which is a hor horrible, horrible way to go. And, um, you know, my sympathy is dwindling for Simon because if you expect compassion and empathy for your injury, the least you can do is not cause that same type of pain and suffering to others. More innocent, more vulnerable than you. They need our defense. You talk about this all the time when it comes to the dog meat trade, but you've got a massive double standard there because you're paying for the same cruelty you claim to be against. All right, guys, leave your comments down below. What do you think of this? Um, come on, Simon. Hopefully he snaps out of it, wakes up to the ethics and becomes a good activist for animals. But I don't know sometimes you just got to be a bit harder on, on people who are in the limelight. I don't know. Just promoting animal cruelty to like... Millions of people, this is why it upsets me a bit, because, like, these people have influence. They have influence, and they're influencing people to abuse animals, unfortunately.